Getting dressed up as the major regrets. The major regrets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make a list or that. You make sure. Where's my costume? Hang it there, ready to go. That's grand. You all set? All set. Oh, yeah, no. they're, they're, they're all set. Oh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> No, give me. Take it easy. He's had one or two already. I can say. You can sit and watch the rain all day. Just to sit beside the fire in the cabin. I shall watch the bear cross the sea. This means first time in Ireland. Oh, give him a Kenny song, please. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were going to... The Rose of Monk Guy. I was going to say give him a bottle of beer or something. Oh, no, no, no. Cheers, you're terrible. You never even offered him a drink. I am. Loads of brandy. He didn't offer me a drink because they were keeping the shaggy things for themselves. Oh, you you have to give him that one. And to hear the dark blue and the lilies and twine on the banks of the shore that flow down by Mukai. No one lovely river flow gently along by your water so sweet. Sound the light. That's dark. I just said you're quite and there was a sing song going on, there was a group playing up on the, the stage and all this kind of stuff. And after, Jesus, a long day in the pub, we were all fairly fucking rattled. <laughs> the fellas kept asking me, will you go up and sing a song? And I was drunk as I was, and you all wasn't going up singing. But I had to go to the loo at one stage, and I went out into the toilet. And I don't know if there was the Jay's fluid in it or a bit of fresh air or whatever. <laughs> But coming back, I got up on the stage <laughs> and I made a speech in Irish. Yeah. Despite the fact that I don't actually speak Irish. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were I announced that I was going to sink all the way bay and I got a rack yeah. in front of the right. My problem was with this medical condition that I was in at the time, I couldn't remember the words. <laughs> but luckily enough, Louise Morrissey was there and she was sat in front of me. And Louise, fair play, straight away she saw the problem. 
And the next thing she jumped on the stage. Yeah, we did a rousing version. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of pumping. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you even like that today, as you say. You won't, you won't talk your way out with this. I dare you, Frank. I dare you, Frank. Have a puff. Yeah. Blow on the cafe and house. I'm going to do it. We're going to start the song with yourselves, right? And let you fade out the door and off to the hospital and we'll hold Michael just for a quick interview. All right? And thanks for your... For, for and, no, and no drinking now. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky you have the best looking woman there. Besides. I know, I've heard that. I knew from the entry list that we were the best group in it. And I said, we will be the best group, but you have to stop acting Egypt. And I said, we need to behave ourselves here. So we did a great preparation, we did a great case notes, we made sure the car was set up, everything was spot on. And the night before the rally, after we'd done the paperwork and signed in, we were going into the Talbot Hotel in Wexford, which was the headquarters. And Enda said to me, and there was a little bit kind of nervous thing, he said, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have one pint. <laughs> and I said, no, no. I said, we want one pint. I said, we'll have two pints. I said, you buy me one, I'll buy you one. And then we're going to get a bite to eat, we're going to check the helmets to make sure the battery will work and all that kind of stuff. So that was the plan, and we were delighted with ourselves. So at two o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. Nolan is in the bar singing Boat of Vogue. I'm in the kitchen with the chef making ham sandwiches. <laughs> and the only reason that I'm in the kitchen with the chef is the chef is so drunk that he's not able to make them himself. <laughs> and the following morning, we get up, and I can tell you, we were not, you couldn't do it now. You actually couldn't do it now, because you'd be thrown off the valley, but I'm going back to the 90s here. But on the Saturday evening, we were leaving the rally. And on the stages, at the end of the stage, I'd say to Enda, well driven, how do you feel? I'm not feeling great, no doubt. <laughs> I think it was the hands of the moral parish and our health of what we call the Kid America, or Joyce being the most obvious one. And that was something very special, you know, to be not just presenting the Sunday game and all that kind of stuff, but to be there on a day like that is something that that's fine. Brilliant. Michael Lester, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Welcome to Castle Palmer to the 39th Annual Rally Race. I know Chubby wants to welcome you. Just on behalf of the Rally Race Committee, uh, I want to say a very, very big welcome to you. You did scare the life out of me when you rang me and told me you were still in Dublin. Uh, you can feel no, 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 no. It's like, look, they can each other. I'm telling you that when we're in Dublin. The only thing, Chubby, that I would ask of you currently at this stage is about half that morning. Would you please put away the rum and the brandy bottles? <laughs> 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 I'm worried about these lads. The next one is on me. We hope you have a wonderful day at Castle Palmer, and we thank you sincerely for taking up the invitation. Uh, just another West man, a man from Mayo, uh, Michael Hester, who for 39 years has been the MC for us this year. So you just have a quick word. I will indeed. I know because I've ordered an MC. And I was down in Mayo, County Mayo, at the wedding last week, and they're all well done. Thank you very much, Frank. Um, uh, I also spent five years in Chum, uh, where Michael started his career, and I started mine in the boarding school there in St. Charlotte's in Chum. Is that old, well? Very welcome to Castle Comer. I think I'm a more or less Dick Kenny, half Dick Kenny, a bit of Dick Kenny, but I go to every male match. So, uh, thank you very much, Michael. You know what's going on when they come up, because they grab the mic, don't they? <laughs> 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 Michael, thank you very much. 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 Thank you uh, no, it's uh, oh, yeah. the, the weather race in Castle Comer um, has a long tradition. It's uh, 39 years yeah. since it started off yeah. from a in very small in little in group yeah. of people. Some of them are still there, and Michael will be the this is uh, They have weather all kinds of storms, yeah, all yeah, kinds yeah, of yeah, sunshine yeah. and rain yeah. and storm yeah. and sun. Yeah. And, yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. now yeah. I'm returning, they call in great storm. I never. No more, no more, and it's no cures I can have any day, and it's no day, never. Rise up your skirts, no day, never, no more. The light played a while over, no, never, no more. I know you might have been sovereign and pride, and the last lady's eyes open wide, it takes a day to as they make their way out through the door and heading to the hospital and it's the first time. Okay, all right, sure. <laughs> <laughs>
if you want to see something for the very first time, Castle Homer is the place to be on a new day. I'm delighted to be joined by a man who's no stranger to the airwaves, never was and never will be. Michael Leslie, how are you? I am very good. I tell you something, just watching the ladies performing there, I am, there's nothing nicer than being in the company of a bunch of fine looking women <coughs> drinking brandy and rum at half eleven in the morning. <laughs> now, I have to admit, there's one or two of them I might just have to kind of rule out the three of them would. <coughs> Michael, first of all, I want to start off by asking you how are you keeping? How are you feeling? I should look at Don't we ever cast it over on the day like today with all the crack that's going on here? And, uh, and it's good, going to be good crack. <coughs> so, what else would you be doing? What else would you be doing on New Year's Day? On New Year's right? Day, exactly. And yeah. how are things going on in the broadcasting world? Well, the broadcasting world for me is quiet at the moment, but then, you know, the funny thing is it would be normally this time of year, although I'm actually on the radio at the moment, so... <laughs> uh, but this will be a quiet time of year. This year coming up is going to be different for me, obviously, because I've retired from the Sunday game. And so far in Castle Comer, as we look forward to the welly race, because the girls here are there making the food, they're making the soup, although Eamon over there is complaining about it. That's good. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Make yourself you're a bit smaller, you're not right. there as a fan. Big arse, so pull over, the girl wants to get it there. And you're, you're back to work. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was walking over in England uh, back in 19, 1988, say. At that time, you had no, you had no staff. Yeah. So I went in anyway, what else from Kilkenny, you see? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 the man. No. And on behalf of the major regrets, I'm not going to tell you what's in this one, take the bottom of the <laughs> 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 Pony and trap. Oh, We're yeah. posh. I it was a limo. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a kind of a limo. Well, it's a kind of a Well, it's a kind of a limo. I was like that. I was like that. I grew up in the country and we, we used to... Major regrets. Yeah. Oh, major regrets. They have a few major well, regrets. They have a few major regrets. They have a few major regrets. They have a few major regrets. This is the Castle Comer LGBT. <laughs> Not good for business. I'm returning with gold and grey store. And I never will play the Wild Rover no more. And it's 
is no never. Rise up your skirts, no never, no more. Like little rover, no never, no more. I have a great yeah. yeah. And, like, I mean, well, it's fairly successful teams as well, you know, yeah. and all that. So yeah. It's the biggest, you know, that, that cliche. The biggest growing sport in Ireland yeah. is definitely the biggest growing sport in Silver the last yeah. 10 or 20 years. Ned, could you go to Dillon's now for well, yeah, a quick what, pub in? in no, no, the corner. Huh? <laughs> no, the Dillon's in the corner house. <laughs> We're trying to get three pubs in. <laughs> we have one in now, anyway. Yeah. Dillon's on the corner. Well, I'll tell you and, what, and then there'll be an SOS out for the course. No, I was just going to say that the great thing about this is I'm in your hands. Right. And if that thing goes major wrong. That's blame me. Blame Dead Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. I, I didn't know what was happening. Kelly would be blunt on it. I did a couple of years ago. Chubby would be having a heart attack. <laughs> I did. Uh, the MC. We compliment the MC. Without the headlights, I'm to be. Oh, yeah. I know. How's it going? Good. Oh, you did that before, Ned? Huh? You did it before? Oh, is a great job for doing it. Oh, it is, yeah, it's actually better than you don't be cutting it. I might stick the hammer. Shot. Oh, Ned knows how to make a sandwich. <laughs> Oh. Are you ready to go? Right, off you go. <laughs> right, we got that. So we go up and we sit on the parade for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... How you doing? <laughs> How you keeping? Friend, yeah. <laughs> and the bubbles. <laughs> Hold on there a second, your bubbles are. Please, retire, please. And this is the Yankee, he's returned from... Oh yeah, yeah. He's returned Yank. <laughs> now we're going out. Only... When he's heading for Skahana, he's on the way. Exactly. <laughs> we'll meet him at the bend. <laughs> it is fine. <laughs> I think you should have the hat.
<laughs> Did you ever see Anthony Hill? No, no. <laughs> when I think about it. <laughs> And some young aspiring players as well. First of all, I'll talk to Joe Brawley, the weatherman, and then I'll interview King Henry Shefflin the Great. So, Joe, what do you have to say about this team? To go up on him. It's a bit like the last one. <laughs> Who's your man? Man goes in it every year. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Welcome, Kenny. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, nice. Welcome, Kenny. We're counting for five. Hang on now, because man wants to take a picture before we go on today. But I might do an only two. Get back behind that rope, you can go. Before I was finished counting, he's definitely just one. <laughs> My friend of the party and all the committee for even asking me to be a judge and likewise my two partners. Thank you very much. It's a very, very hard job. Myself, but what I want to say to Michael is when I contacted you a few weeks ago, uh, you were more than happy to come. I think you. And now I'm returning with gold and grey store. And I never will play the oil rover no more. And it's no, nay, never. Rise up your skirts, no, nay, never, no more. When I play. Yeah. <laughs>